So I've heard some students uh, running into an issue with uh, the scanner. They would do input dot next line and uh, it, it just wouldn't work. It would do. It wouldn't even actually uh, allow me to kind of connect to it. And so I actually was kind of concerned because obviously that's what Nextline is supposed to do. It's. Uh, I've already kind of showed that to you that you can use it to uh, get a string from the user. And so I, I did a little digging around, and this is actually just a, a little bit of a problem. And uh, this link will actually be in the email uh, for you to kind of read up on. But the reason it actually is, uh, it, it's something to do with uh, using that next int. Uh, what happens is basically it does not finish the line. It actually will give me the integer, which is what I wanted, but then when I'm saying that next line and waiting, it kind of it doesn't do it. And so we run into that issue of, I want my string now. So what can we do to resolve this? So just so we can even see that in action, you can skip ahead if you'd like. What we can do is we can kind of tackle this in a sense of, so the first thing I did was I want my cigars, since we're doing the squirrel problem. and so I go, all right, uh, let me prompt my user first, system.out.print, enter the number of cigars. Input.next int. All right, that part, not too, not too bad. But then we get into the second portion where we started running into the issue of, is it the weekend? is it the weekend and again we were trying to do next line so if you just kind of run this now and I'm gonna uh, actually just do a little print statement right now so we can even see this in action so I'm gonna do a print line uh, with cigar plus string plus uh, weekend weekend. So again, I take this and I'll, I'll compile it out. Test.java Java test. Enter number of cigars. Alright, 50. Notice how all of a sudden I hit enter and the, the... What? Hey! Program shut down. So how do I solve this problem? Well, one of the other things we can use is something called next. And what next does is it's actually waiting for the next kind of non-printed character. So a space, a tab, an enter. And luckily, since that's our last thing, what we can do now is if I compile this up and I run this, enter number of cigars, is it the weekend, Y-E-S. Now it's going to give me exactly what I was looking for. Now, since I'm kind of already talking about this, one of the other things I had mentioned in classes and inside the assignment is strings don't work the same way. Uh, say, for example, I tried to uh, say string yes equals yes. If yes equal equal, uh, Weekend. That's what they type. They type the weekend. So I should be. It should be the weekend, right? System dot out dot print line. It's the weekend. Yay! Just in case. Just in case. We're gonna say. What happens if it's. Nope. Still weekdays. So we've got this lined up, and I'll go ahead and compile this up. Boom. And I'll run this. 50. You're going to see when I type yes, even though I, I say that, you know, string yes equals yes, and I typed yes, nope, still weekday. The reason why is because strings are a very complex data type. They're not as uh, simplistic or primitive as our integers and our chars. So what's actually happening here is this is in one memory address and this is in one 
another memory address. And so what we're doing is we're actually trying to say, are these two th items at the same memory address? Obviously, it's not working. But if instead of this, we say weekend dot equals yes, compile it and run it. 50, yes, it's the weekend! At which point you guys still have to do the homework assignment and I expect it to be turned in on time. <laughs> Best of luck guys.